And now, breaking <laughs> news. The largest LGBTQ Latino pride in America, South Florida's Gay Ocho Festival is canceled. Mm. Of support, hot, but details of the 2024 event were incomplete. Today, Gay Ocho issued a statement to Queer News Tonight saying, quote, it is with heavy hearts that we share the difficult decision to cancel the Gay Aid Festival mm. for 2024. This decision was made after extensive deliberation and understanding that meeting the exceptional standards you've come to anticipate would not be feasible this year, end quote. Gay Ocho is a reference to Little Havana's 8th Street and the heart of one of America's largest Latino communities. Gay Aid is part of Forward Miami. In November, Damian Pardo, Gay Ocho's well-known executive director, was the first ever LGBTQ plus person elected to Miami City Commission. Alyssa Ramos, Gay Aid Festival chairwoman, told Queer News Tonight, quote, we are disappointed to announce the cancellation. It saddens us. However, we want to make sure we produce a quality event and just don't have the support from the community like we've had in the past. We are confident we can come back in 2025 stronger than ever, end quote. In an exclusive interview, longtime Gay Ocho director, Queer News Tonight anchor, and its Happening Out host, Jonathan Casanias, said, quote, the decision needed to be made, but I am sad. Not only because we didn't get the support we needed, but I'm sad for those who look forward to the festival every year. People constantly approach me saying how Gay Ocho impacted their lives. Maybe now, with our first gay city commissioner, we can get the support we deserve back from the city, end quote. The festival was particularly impactful because it was held in the heart of the commun Cuban and Latino community of Miami-Dade County that has culturally and historically not been inclusive with the LGBTQ plus community. As many as 100,000 have attended the LGBTQ plus Latino Pride event. Everyone remembers World Pride New York when a large delegation from the Gay Festival marched in the World Pride Parade. There was a large hole now in the LGBTQ plus community, and we hope solutions will be found in the future to return Miami and all of South Florida to its prominence for the LGBTQ plus community. Okay, it's so weird because every year I say, I'm going to go. And uh -huh. I've been living here 10 years and I haven't gone yet. And guess what? Now I can't go because they canceled it. So for those that got to experience it, I'm sure it was a wonderful event. And I'll just have to stick around to 2025. It was a great event. I remember being involved with Gay 8 from its inception, um, helping to get sponsorships. And, and I'm just confused about the story when they say they're not having support from the community. And at the end of the story, it sounded like they weren't getting support from the city of Miami which I'm, I'm not really sure where the support is not coming from mm -hmm. to put on the festival. If it's coming from the city of Miami, then that's a very serious issue, right? Um, yep. That all LGBTQ organizations would have to look out for um, from the governor. They've talked about how can they get rid of mm. LGBTQ organizations mm. all together? Mm -hmm. And um, Republicans are running a lot of these a lot of these districts. And so if somewhere in there they're refusing to do something to allow it to happen, mm -hmm. right? Then that's a very serious issue that our whole community needs to know about. Yeah, well, with, now, we need to with show the, up and vote. You guys, you gotta start voting. You, you do have to vote, but I, and but yes, um, I didn't do the interview with Jonathan or the leader of Gay Aid, but it, they do seem to allude to a lack of support, but you know. But from where? But, but yeah, from... but, but you and I, have, we've, we've both been around. We know that sometimes you don't put people on blast because you're still trying to woo them mm -hmm. back in. So I'm guessing right. that's maybe not why they're they're I mean, doing they're they're naming names. I don't know, but I think it's really important. I think, Mr. Um, reporter here, you need to find out.
it's really important if for some reason the the support from the city itself mm -hmm. meaning they can't get permits or they're not providing whatever financial support that they used to provide because it's an lgbtq event oh. right now mm -hmm. there's like discrimination coming from our public officials and that needs to be in every newspaper yes we don't we don't know that yet though that. we don't yeah, know yeah, know that. yeah they, but the hardest the hardest, the hardest part about this story the hardest part about this story is that it's a slap on the other cheek because just the other day pride fort lauderdale announced uh you know it wasn't going to happen this year now uh now yeah, gay yeah, ocho yeah. is not going to do it so um you know is it's like mm, it, is this a trend that we're seeing or is this just two unfortunate unrelated events i don't know i mean well they they are unrelated um you know i we don't i guess you said well we, but i mean as a trend rather than, as a trend yeah. yeah that is something we have to look out for uh, pride fort lauderdale is just complete lack of faith of faith from the community and severe financial mismanagement. That is why Pride is on a hiatus and sort of glomming onto Wilton Manors and leaving Fort Lauderdale. This, you're right, this still has more questions yeah. than we're answering tonight and, and I, I mean i would feel better if they said you know what damien's running for office he hasn't been able to put in the the work of the, it yeah. takes a lot of work you guys sure. know that i've been involved with putting on events like that oh, for yeah. a long yeah. time yeah. yeah it's a lot of work yeah. right and if no he's joke. running for office yeah. that takes a lot of work and if he didn't have the time to make this happen and so they're they're laying off for a year that makes sense to me if it's something else though then yeah. we need to be aware of that i'm really concerned yeah. about conversation from Tallahassee about mm. how do we get rid of the LGBTQ? Oh. Yeah. I mean, you've seen DeSantis going to colleges and he's affected, you know, oh, yeah. um, mm. Mickey Mouse and to make sure that we're not subtly under attack and we're not aware of it. And this is the third legacy event that we've lost this fall. Cause yes, there's Pride Fort Lauderdale, there's Gay Ocho and Smart Ride. Right. Let's not forget that. That is a huge community event that is also going under for also a completely different reason because times change, because methods of fundraising change. Um, yeah, this is a period of transition and we we have to find out what's happening. And sometimes you just have to say, okay, this is where we're gonna go. This is how we didn't anticipate going this way, but this is the way we're going. On the upside, yeah. it's been many years, probably every year, it was an amazing event. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, and I remember the first year when everyone was shocked to see the old Cuban guys in Domino Park playing, <laughs> playing features with the drag queens. Oh, wow. And everybody was just listening yeah. to music and everybody was having fun. And we were all pointing going, <laughs> this is the point. I also wow. remember many of the stores didn't want to be open oh. yeah. on, on gate the first year because they were concerned about those people being there all day. Mm. And after they saw the success of the parade, <laughs> that then every store wanted to be open. And the last year, if I remember correctly, uh, they were telling me that the next block was like, how come you're not extending it down to our block? Wow. Yeah. So it was doing what these things were meant to do, right? It was mm. really, all of a sudden, the acceptance mm. of the community was coming together. And so I'm really sad that, that it won't be there in mm. January. Hopefully nothing bad is happening politically, and hopefully they'll be back in 2020. We, we exactly. Look, we look forward.